Welcome to the Nova League, I'm Gremlin Gremlin, and I've never completed a playthrough of Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum. This is part 4 of my Platinum Dream Team quest. I plan on uploading an update video for each new member, and also a finale consisting of a compilation and my final battle against Cynthia. Okay, so before I even begin my intro info dump for this video, let me warn you, there's a lot of new channel lore in this one, beyond even just the shiny reaction, so I put chapters in the description if you aren't interested, and you can skip right ahead. So first, let's address the absurd amount of giraffes in the room. This is my 19th shiny giraffe reaction on the Nova League, 20th total on YouTube if you escape the confines of this stupid channel, and that's not even scratching the surface of the total number of shiny giraffes I have, because remember, I have one for each Terra type, so bare minimum 38 plus the original Living Legend, the first shiny giraffe I got in my Hardcore Dream Team before making videos for the channel again, so 39 is where I stopped counting. So you might be asking yourself, hey man, what? Well, it's my favorite Pokemon, for one, and for two, I've had sort of a background goal to eventually find Shiny Giraffe Rig in every generation that it's possible to find it in. After this video, that leaves me with only Gens 3, 5, and 6, so make sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with that, because Gen 3 is going to be very interesting, as the only way to get it outside of egg hatching, which I hate, is the Safari Zone. Safari Week is right around the corner. I'm not ready. Speaking of Safari Week, I hunted this target exclusively on my Italian Platinum cartridge, not my Dream Team cartridge. I did this because both my Dream Team targets are actually accessible at the same point in the game, and I wasn't exactly sure which one I wanted to go for first, so I double hunted both at the same time and figured I'd let fate decide. I chose to hunt Giraffe Rig on the Italian cartridge because I already knew what I wanted to name this guy when I found it. See, last summer my parents went on vacation around Europe. When they came back, they brought a ton of Pokemon cards for me, and also this silly little wooden giraffe that they found in the town called Luca. Ever since I got this silly little guy with the blue paint accents, I knew I needed to find a shiny Italian giraffe rig named after him. So for most of this hunt, I recorded it, chilled in calls with friends, or watched videos, simply vibing with this neat clean layout I threw together. Ah, so calming and peaceful. And then everything changed, when the Gremin arrived. I hadn't streamed for almost a month, that was my first mistake. I let the insanity of the League Heads fester harden into an aged shell around a citrus core. A chatter by the name of Chobis offhandedly mentioned her family's cursed heirloom, or should I say, heir lemon. Yes, this, the image before you now, is a lemon, on display. What's wrong with this lemon? Well, let's let the stream play out. A petrified lemon? A what? What do you mean by that? What is that? Is it solid? Why is it on display? Why do you have it on dis- Why do you have it on display? <coughs> That's not a lemon. Legally, I don't think you can call that a lemon anymore. Is it- Is it exposed to constant sunlight? The lemon is before your time? What do you mean? What do you mean that lemon is before your time? How old is that lemon? What do you mean? What do you mean? How old is that lemon? Why can lemons last that long? Can you verify? Can we get that lemon carbon dated? That can't be 20 to 30. First of all, crazy range. 10 years of uncertainty? How old is this lemon? How did it not shrivel up and decay? Why is it on display? Where did it come from? If the lemon's been around for this long, why are you only now bringing this up? You've been here a while. Is this lemon a secret? A family heirloom? This lemon has surpassed lemon and turned into like cursed rock or something. I think it might be like radioactive. Do you have a Geiger counter lying around? Lemons shouldn't do that, I don't think. You didn't think that was that weird? Raise a hands in chat how many people have seen a lemon do that before? <laughs> this is the first I'm hearing of this. It's one thing to have a lemon this old, but it being like a family heirloom. At what point do you look at a lemon and, and think like, we need to have this around for longer? How do you not know exactly how old it is? That's what's tripping me up. What's the 10 year uncertainty range? 20 to 30? <laughs> Family air lemon? <laughs> Sorry, Chobis, what? Chobis, you're huh? Chobis, you're what now? There's no way this is weirder than my jarred annoying orange. You're what? You're, you're huh? what? Can we roll back the tape? <laughs> Jovis, what do you mean you can't get it out of the jar? That looks very easy to remove. What do you mean it's stuck there? How? Yeah. Opa Tokyo brings up a good point. Reminder, everybody. Read Void Jumpers, by the way. Chobis is in the second book. 
Chobis, how are you gonna let me put you in a book and not tell me this information first? I'm stuck with this now. Is the lemon cannon to avoid jumpers? I think it has to be now. I'll find a way. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what did Chobis say? I don't, what do you mean it makes a sound? There's an audio file. Does it have, does it say like annoying orange things? Like, hey Apple? It does say, hey, Apple. Yeah, no, you were saying it's not as weird as your annoying orange in a jar. And like, I think I'm already over the annoying orange in a jar. Like I've got used to that. That I can accept as a reality. That makes sense to me. I'm thinking about that lemon still. I asked about the lemon. They so told me it was 27 years old. The lemon is exactly 27 years old. Where did it come from and why does it exist? Did you ask that? I'm glad we have an exact age. A 27 year old lemon. We can now definitively find out who is Older and younger than the lemon. That that lemon is older lemon. than every member of the Nova League. But where did it come from, though? And where did it go? Where did it come from? Where did it Cotton Eye Joe. The the Gremlin is, is 27 years old, Apollo. Did the did the Gremlin just turn 27? Or we can't keep it calling it the Gremlin. We can't keep calling it the Gremlin. It's a lemon. Don't attach me to this lemon. It. I had nothing to do with this. No, I was just reading the chat. I was just reading the chat. To know. <laughs> Don't attach me to this lemon at all. I had nothing to do with this lemon. I'm gonna make sure that Gremlin is passed down to the- No, now you can't call it Gremlin also. It can't. Don't make this thing be called a Gremlin. I have nothing to do with this. I am in no way attached to this lemon. How did this happen? I don't want to be connected to this lemon. I feel like it's like some sort of curse. A curse of the Gremlin. Raw. <laughs> no. Wait. Don't look at out of topic. You know what that means, right? Like I'm going straight to out of topic. <laughs> <laughs> Gremlin! Out of topic? I can't believe this. Do you think this lemon knew what its ultimate destination was? This lemon is older than most of us and somehow it has become part of this. I think that lemon really is cursed and potentially radioactive because I'm feeling the effects of it. You guys are gonna kill- I don't think I'll survive this safari week by the way. Randy, have you heard of um, our Lord and Savior, the Gremlin? Did you know that as a torture method, uh, they would let goats lick people's toes? Tell me this worked. Yeah! <laughs> Huge! Oh, I love this. You know, that might actually stay on the layout. Everything else will go by the next stream, but I might actually keep that on there. So, unfortunately, the Gremlin has solidified itself into channel lore. And if you missed the stream, now you're caught up. I cleaned up the layout for the next couple days of streaming, leaving only the Gremlin cube as a reminder. Now, one more thing before we finally get to the shiny reaction. You know, the reason you clicked on the video. So, you know how I write books? Wait, don't leave! This is the last thing before the shiny. Okay, so I recently put together a final trailer for Void Jumpers since part two comes out this June, and I just have to thank all of you. I wouldn't have been able to make this trailer without fans in the Nova League. Viewers like you lent their voices to the project and made it possible. And right before the shiny showed up, I happened to be talking about Void Jumpers because Quite frankly, I'm very excited for the second one to come out. People seem to really like the first one, and so I know all of you will love the second one. And so, on stream, I showed the trailer in full right before the shiny appeared. So, you get to see it too. Hope you don't mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna advertise for free. Give me money. I was gonna say, I think we're safe. <laughs> Like, so you know how my mom watches every Nova League video? I had to explain to her who those four people were. <laughs> I brought up the fact that like Shiny Catherine was sponsored by Pokemon. And my mom's like, how do you guys get sponsored by Pokemon? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> the answer is that we don't. My mom's like, why? And I said, you know Randy, right? I have a trial called and also balls of someone saying and also balls. So I named it nice. also balls because they said and also balls. I said on your desktop. Show. Yeah. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's completely off the table. I'm okay with that though. 
I'd rather be silly. At least we at least we have one sponsorship. Every story ever told is real. Every story ever told is real. Every story ever told. Every story ever told is real. Every story ever told. Every story ever told is real. 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 Even yours. Even yours. That's real. That's real. That's true. Unfortunately, I say unfortunately because every story ever being told being real has some crazy implications. Yeah, I like that. I like that trailer a lot. The every story ever told trailer. I like it a lot. It's my favorite one. Literally couldn't have done anything like it without uh, really awesome viewers. So you guys are great. I like boy jumpers, you guys. Boy jumpers is so fun. And whoa, whoa, oh, shiny giraffic! Already, shiny Italian giraffic. Phase one. What? That caught me so off guard. That's crazy. That's insane. Platinum. I can't, hold on. I don't know what to do with myself. I, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do with myself. I didn't, I'm gonna be so real with you. I streamed these not even considering getting a shiny. We were just having fun. What? First phase, you're joking. We got another giraffe rig video for the Nova League. Yippee. <laughs> Are you kidding? Give me a second. Um, I don't have a second screen for this. Give me a second. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a professional streamer. I'm a professional streamer, you guys. Oh my God. Okay. Uh. This is Italian? I forget. <laughs> I can't read. Hold on. Borsa. Is that bag? Cool. Pokeball. Don't hate me. I'm throwing a quick ball. The colors match. Can we just get this first try? One. No. That's so cool. That's so cool. I, I always forget about the secondary sparkles. Let's just, let's throw stuff. I'm being very careful. I'm being very careful. April Fools, this is fake and you're colorblind. It is April 1st. We're fine. I don't need to freak out or anything. This isn't the Safari Zone. I'm like so accustomed to, uh, don't press run, don't press run. Uh, I'm so accustomed to Gen 4 Shinies on the channel being the Safari Zone. So I'm like in that mindset, but we, we gotta not freak out. One, two, three. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, it can't run away. Only I can run away if I press the wrong button. It is in Italian. <laughs> it stayed. <laughs> I. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm like so scared of pressing the wrong button. We got it. 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 I do have a name for this. And it's a male giraffe too, which is my favorite. There's a gender difference between the two. Barely over odds. Barely. A normal giraffe. And. Shiny Luca. I love Gen 4's giraffe rig back sprite, man. But we didn't phase on Babarel or, uh, unfortunately we didn't phase on Houndour. That was the one thing that I wanted to phase on actually. Unfortunately, no, but that's fine. First phase, that's fine. We're going to trade the Italian giraffe over into my DTQ file. There is Luca, Scambia, uh, Bidoof, trade. I just realized nature guesses. We couldn't read before in Italian. Quick panic guesses modest. 
I'm gonna guess quirked up for real. Bold from price tag. Naive from Sriracha. Sorry, naive from Sriracha. Squinky from Oval Tokyo. Quiet from Shrimp. Sassy from Skylar. Serious as always. Doinks's guess. We have. Look at that little goober. What a goober. Lonely. Aw. Lonely little goober. I don't think anyone guessed lonely. Let's see that little anime. Let's let's do a team recap. We got Castleback, the Grottle, Blue Screen, the Porygon 2. Montage, the Mantine. That's not part of my dream team. That's just for catching. Neither is that. Luca, the shiny giraffe. Fun fact, I want you guys to listen really closely. I'm gonna turn the volume up all the way. You hear that giraffe cry? Listen to this. Did you know that? 